Hi, I'm Katie Wong. I'm a fourth year at Juilliard studying heart performance, and today we had an amazing masterclass with the Vienna Phil principal, Annaline Leonards. So Annaline is so precise and very detail-oriented, so everything from your hand position to where the elbow is and understanding how the fingers come into the palm instead of like the shoulder or moving the wrist. Um, to harmonically thinking, oh, well, maybe the right hand doesn't always have the melody, and maybe it's just the thumb or the fourth finger in the left hand. So just understanding all of those details and how it comes into the big picture was just absolutely amazing. <laughs> It's interesting because I've learned the Grangeny method, which is more of a relaxed way of playing. And other harpists play the Salzedo way, which they try to have a 90 degree angle in the elbows. But what's interesting is how that impacts the sound. So a lot of Salzedo people may have a little bit more of a tense um, position, which creates maybe a stronger sound versus the Grangeny method sounds it's very, very French. So it's a little bit more relaxed and a little bit more romantic. So hearing Annaline and uh, where the power comes from is very interesting because she reminded me to keep my shoulders down and my back straight, but relax as if you're taking an apple from a tree and not necessarily, or kneading pizza dough <laughs> as opposed to gripping something and having that tension um, relay over to the sound that the audience is hearing. I would say for European sound, it's a little less literal. Um, American sound is always, uh, my teacher is Nancy Allen, and she's always very detailed with, oh, muffle here, we don't want to hear that sound, uh, That that's too much of this. But Annaline was saying, oh, well, let it ring, like, it's supposed to carry over and create that arc naturally. And that's actually part of the instrument, so don't muffle it to stop that sound if it's supposed to carry over. So in that way, it impacts the whole European sound in a way because it's a little bit more relaxed and flexible, which I think creates that uh, there's a little more color in the tone as a result. I was a previous NYO member. I played in the 2015 tour. Um, which was amazing. We went to China, um, and so it was just very cool to have those little master classes with Tan Dunn and, and Gretchen Van Hosen. And I had previously taken classes with Annaline in the Aspen Music Festival for two summers, so it was great to just be back. <laughs> I was previously a harpist in the New York Youth Symphony, um, but going into NYO, I had no previous experience with a professional like uh, in a, on a student level orchestra. So Carnegie Hall offered me that opportunity to have a master class with Nancy Allen and have professional training with a world renowned conductor. And just having that whole residency at Purchase College where we were in training for many, many weeks. And then um, taking that information and kind of bringing it to the table um, on tour at all the different cities was a very valuable experience. And yeah, Carnegie Hall has been super instrumental in that part of my education. I was a private student with Nancy for a year before that. And so having that extra master class uh, during NYO uh, also helped. <laughs>